Yeah, but Jen had spray. fire, mm, yeah. sex, yeah, yeah. Scenery. Couch, broken couch. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, broken couch. Yep. Yeah. 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 All right, that one. Uh, Kevin. I'm gonna thank go you. with her. All right, <laughs> <thank you. laughs> all right, thank you, Kevin. <laughs> Insensitivity training for a politically correct world. Wednesday morning, July the 17th, 2024. I'm Woody. That's Greg Gorey. Good morning. Menace, good morning to you. Good morning, Woody. There is Seabass. Hi. We got Sammy. Morning. Now, the phones are open, but for a particular reason, we have a, uh, a focus on the calls that we're taking right now at 877-44. Woody, we're going to do one of these last man standing uh, segments that that we do. We, one we did recently was, what's the most redneck thing you've seen? Yeah, that was great. And so you call in and you share with us the most redneck thing you've seen. We pick a different topic each time. Well, the topic today, house parties gone wrong. Okay. So yep. you hosted a house party, you went to a house party, and it just went sideways. We're looking for... <laughs> Not good. Who's got the best house party gone wrong story? And this all started, we had a conversation about this girl, and she got really screwed over. She was trying to do something fun. She was trying to be cool. She, uh, Her parents were out, out of town, and so she threw a party at the house, and the invitation was public. And so all these people showed up, and they were pouring stuff into the washing machine, the dryer, and... Uh, you know, ruined the countertops and de- destroyed the place. Then on top of all that, the loser kids who came to the party, they called the cops just so they would show up and bust the girl whose party they were at. Sure. <laughs> yeah. So not only did you destroy the house, you also threw the girl who hosted the party under the bus by calling the cops. Yeah. <laughs> I know people treat these parties like they treat the place where they work. The minute you walk in, yeah. Yeah. you're a pig and an animal. Mm-hmm. And honestly, I- I've heard enough of these stories. It's it's why I don't really like having a large amount of people over to my place. I'll have small groups of people. Yeah. You know, yeah, I would but say you're like, an adult. I would We're say like 10 like or less. High school kids. Exactly. That no, I know. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to flush Woody's silverware down the toilet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to break your countertop. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not I mean, Seabass might try to poop in my shower. This is yeah, true. true. But this is why, but I, I do yeah. enjoy having large parties at my place, but I have a common room maintained by the building. So yeah. See, that's yeah. different. And I'm not an animal. I'm not going to take a drink and go sit on your couch. But man, some people just love that. entertaining. Yeah. The more people, the merrier. They'll like rent tents to pop up outside yeah, yeah. there's yeah. there was a lot of that Everybody going on with that. graduation parties Hire a fat uh then or <laughs> if you don't if you don't want move. people in your house you just do a garage party yeah that's the move by the way the like valet. uh the valet yeah oh i know like I've, menace I've said people do that menace said at one point when he bought mm-hmm. that kitchen aid stand mixer oh yeah like that was to him for nobody else, it's not like he's going to use it but to him it was like yeah. a sign that he made it right yeah. as, as an adult especially I yeah get it. i get yeah. it like a sign that, dude, you really got it going on <laughs> is if you have a valet service you are now that's for like, a gathering at your house. That's like Ooh. an extreme. But that's what that's what he's saying. That's like <laughs> yeah. the next but level. I, but I also wonder, like, how much could that possibly cost? We're just talking about somebody to go park cars. See Brian, how much that was. It's for, probably more about having a space to dump the cars in. Yeah, just yeah. park it along the street, but they have to go like the next block over Much to park it. Exactly. You uh, could just hire kids to do it. I, I mean, would never oh, hire yeah. work. I've seen <laughs> movies. Yeah, just a local <laughs> kid. Have you, yeah, have you ever seen Father of the Bride? Yes. Okay. But well, you, then I mean, you know you it's a bad idea. Like in their early twenties or no, whatever, as a you, side you're job. You're gonna want to hire somebody professional because of insurance. Insurance. Yeah. You're digging doors or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, right, I'm sure you could do it on the cheap. I'm, but, I, I've, I'm figuring this is probably something that's a lot more affordable than we think. I'm not saying maybe, it's yeah. cheap. All right, here are three attendants for five hours, uh, four hundred eighty-five dollars, including tax, okay. for the whole thing, five hundred bucks. Yep, for how many bucks hours? Now? Five hours. That's good. Hmm. See, okay, five hundred bucks. It's a lot of money. Does I not, get it. But now, does not cost. Co- does not include cost of a location permit. So, like, in other words. The, the lot, if you had to right. get a lot okay. or something. Right, right, right. But I'm saying if it's in your neighborhood and there's ample street parking, right. but you don't want your guests because you're having them over and they're wearing like maybe some nicer stuff. And you don't want to disturb the neighbors. <laughs> yeah, you That's don't want to disturb right. them. You don't want your guests walking like a block and a half just I've, to get to your house. I've never gone to a party where a civilian has had that. Only c- celebrities, yes. Right. But like... Yeah, I went like to a, a random yeah. house. Yeah, I, random we were house. All there. We all went to one part with the, the the Ralphie May party. Yeah, rest in peace, comedian Ralphie May. Mm-hmm. He had a he had a party, and uh, I mean he lived in an area where it was like the Parks streets were super possible. narrow. There was so nowhere tight. to park. Yeah. Exactly. And so he had these valets, and I thought that was a pimp move. Yeah, <laughs> I know it's awesome. Yeah. The question yeah. is, if you're a guest at one of these parties, random house party, and they have a valet, 
as the guest, you you tip, right? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah Always definitely. Uh, this is also kind of up there with being the full bar candy bar house on Halloween. Oh. Like that was my personal goal. Like that was my KitchenAid stand mixer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> like Menace had the KitchenAid stand mixer. Mine was one day, and I remember thinking this as a kid. One day, I would like to be the full size candy bar house <laughs> on Halloween. And I've done it for the last, awesome. what, four or five years. Yep. It's not right. hard to do, is it? It's like, not. No, you go to you Costco, Costco yeah. get a box. Yeah, Costco has like deals. I think it's like 15 bucks. You get 30 bars or something like that. Uh, you know, and it's and it's all the good stuff too. Right. Awesome. And I load Snickers. up on those. And yeah. I say a friend of mine sent me a photo. Apparently, Walmart has full on knockoffs of like Snickers now. Oh, really? Oh, really? Nice. Let's like Walmart them. brand, right? Taste test, you know, Sam's Choice or whatever. They call right. them like Crickers or yeah. <laughs> yeah. Snackers. <laughs> yeah. Right. What do yeah. they call their uh, Dr Pepper? It's oh, Dr Choice. All right. No, it's something like Mountain yeah. something. Oh, no, yeah, no, they have a, they have a Mountain Dew that's like Mountain Blast or something. Or, something. No, I think Bort knows. All right, so we're opening up the uh, the phones, and so the idea, the way this works is, you're gonna call in if you have a, a good story, if you think you have the story, when it comes to house parties gone wrong something you've uh, either hosted or been a part of, you're going to call in right now. We'll get you set up. 877-44-WOODY. And then when we come back from the break, we're going to go right to the calls. We'll hear the first call. Then we'll take the second call. We'll hear that second story. And then we'll go around the room and vote which one's the better story. That person moves on. Whoever is left standing at the end, that's going to be the person who gets a prize. Sometimes it comes down to where we can't decide, and then we'll throw it to the text. And you guys can help us That's decide. That's what happened last time, yeah. Well, last time, that redneck was topic, like, was there was like three, three or tie. four people. Yeah. So good. Dr. Thunder. Uh, yeah, yeah there it is. Of, yeah. Yeah. Dr. Dr. Thunder. Thunder. Yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> I've had Dr. Thunder. It's good. The topic for this round of Last Man Standing, House Parties Gone Wrong. Uh, yeah. House Parties Gone Wrong. So you either hosted or you attended. You think you got the best story about a house party gone wrong? Uh, go ahead and give us a call. 877-44-WOODY. We're, uh, we're going through and getting people lined up as quickly as we can because what we're doing here is we're going to take the first call, hear their story, take the second call, hear their story. Whichever one we determine will go around the room, whichever one we think is the best one, that moves on. And then by the end of the segment, when we run out of time here, um, whichever one's left standing, last man standing, will win a prize. I'm not Great. sure exactly what that prize yeah. will be, but if you got a good house party gone wrong story, call us right now, 877-44-WOODY. I have a quick story. When I had a house party in high school, I was working at a grocery store, so I thought I'd be fancy, and I had shrimp and like a whole really? spread. Shrimp. And, uh, <laughs> leftover shrimp. The only alcohol we could get was tequila, and it was, you know, not the good kind. And eventually, the the girls got a little wild, nice. and uh, they did like take off their shirts and run down the street, and that was pretty cool. <laughs> Hell yeah, dog! And but one of the girls ended up like puking all over my kitchen floor, and it's just like yeah, just shrimp bits and like oh, sauce and, and all that tequila. kind of stuff. But I think what I messed up is I cleaned the house so good that something was off. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. And then my neighbor did say to my mom like, "Oh, some girls are running down the street <laughs> and like topless. screaming." And I go, yeah, I didn't hear that, you know. So I, I didn't get caught. But yeah, I had to clean up some barf. All right, uh, let's go to Giovanni. Good morning, Giovanni. Giovanni. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so house party gone wrong. What is your story for this round of Last Man Standing? Man, it was a tough one. So me and my girlfriend got invited to a party, and unfortunately, this is my first time drinking in a good while. So I'm just drinking, getting hammered. Um, I blanked out. I remember I'm in the restroom. Throwing up, everything's just a complete mess. I pass out. I remember uh, my buddy's girlfriend just knocking on the door. I told like, give me one second. So I tried cleaning everything up. I ended up clogging the sink, oh. the tub, <laughs> and I just <laughs> walked out. Um, next thing I remember, I am waking up in the front lawn, passed out under a Mustang. Uh, everybody comes in. They said, hey, guess what? I found him. He's not lost. He's just fucking passed out. Oh. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there we go. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, well, now, when you tell your story, you got to remember that you're on the radio, right? Yeah. And oh, so I, there's I the forgot. seven dirty words think, that you can't I think uh, people just have, are just oblivious to, like, general decorum. Yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> it's, it's just cuss words left and right. Yeah. True. Well, I mean, you know, 
They're not trained professionals. We swear like sailors off the air. Yeah, the second the microphone's oh, yeah. off. But um, I mean, I have to give him some props for the uh, sink puking and the uh, bathroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can relate. Right, I, uh, right, right. I relate to that. And he was passed out <laughs> on the front lawn under a Mustang. So that means there was a Mustang on the <laughs> front lawn. Under yep. that, All right, Giovanni, hang I on one second. Passed out on the front lawn before. Mm -hmm. Hang on. Let's go to uh, Jen. Good morning, Jen, and watch your mouth. <laughs> I'm here. All right. All right. So uh, house party gone wrong. What happened? So our annual Halloween party by year seven got a little out of hand with all the randos that started showing up by word of mouth. Yeah. And, you know, you're trying to get all the drunks out of your house that you don't know because you find out they're stealing your CDs left and right to walk in my dining room that's on fire. Oh, jeez. Because the cute little skull candlestick holders that are cheap. Once the candle melted all the way down, caught the candlestick holder on fire, which caught the tablecloth on fire, which caught the table on fire. <laughs> you find the fire as it's like going up the wall. Oh, so you're no. running around trying to trying to get the fire extinguisher. You go to the basement to you open up the basement door to grab the fire extinguisher, and there's some random people having sex on your disgusting basement floor. Nice. <laughs> oh on. my god! Hell yeah! And so you slam the door shut and forget that you went in for the fire extinguisher. <laughs> Meanwhile, things are burning. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah, but it's my eyes, my eyes. Yeah, but how so, how damaged was everything? Like, how, like what kind of uh, damage did the fire do? It had, ju it had just hit the wall, so the wall was easily repainted. Table had to be thrown out. Everything on the table was ruined. Oh, no big no. deal because it was, you know, 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so, finally, chaos is over. Sit down on the couch. Like, whew, almost everybody's gone. My best friend comes flying down my, my uh, stairs in my living room, decides to super fly me from the bottom of the stairs and across the living room, Hell hits yeah. the couch, breaks the back off the couch. Everybody's sitting on the couch with me. We all go flying backwards. Nice. I'm just like, this yeah. Is all the this same is night. One of those FML moments. Okay. <laughs> all on the same night. All on the same night. All right. Well, there's uh, there's Jen's story. I hate, to, I hate to blame the victim, Greg, but if your candle holders are that cheap. I, I, <laughs> well, I mean, look, it's just for like decor for like a, like a one-off party. A one you know? yeah. all it's the not like an everyday use thing. You could still have higher standards. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. It's called um, restoration no. hardware. So between uh, Jen's story and Giovanni's story, <laughs> oh. I'm going Jen. Uh, Jen. Yeah, Jen. Uh, Giovanni's still on the line? Yeah. 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 No, no, we told him to hang on. Thank you, Giovanni. Yo, I'm Lawrence. Have a good one, guys. You, should, you should apologize, yeah, though. See a potty mouth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's, go to, <laughs> let's go to Herman. Hey, good morning, Herman. Herman. Hey, good morning. What are you? All right, good morning. Uh, house party's gone wrong. What do you got? Oh, man, dude. Okay, so this was six years ago, and we had a family and friends party. Um, so we all got hammered, right? And we, we called it a night. But before that, I had a heated argument with my father. And they split us up. They took him to his room. They took me to my room. And we called it a night. I'm, I'm in bed with two of my girlfriends. And nice. next thing you know, I get woken up by, like, five cops coming into my room. And I'm, I'm tripping out because I'm halfway drunk. And I'm scared. There's five cops in my room. And next thing you know, they take us out and they have us in handcuffs. Me, my brothers, and even including my mother. And it turns out that uh, my aunt, which is my my father's sister. That's usually how that works, yeah. Because she thought that we heard them or something like that. So they literally broke down our door. So when I walked out, our door was broken down. Oh. Oh my God! Mm -hmm. All right, and what's with people calling like, the cops for no good reason? I know. Well, I Stupid. mean, you're the last person to. Yeah, I do it for public. You call the cops uh, all the time, but not on private like, pit people. Like, yeah, not on family CBS's members. CBS's number is like on a big display. I'm sure at the police station. Like this guy calls all the time, yeah. and and therefore important. We should listen to him. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But <laughs> I knew where this story was going once he said it was a family party. I'm like, oh, uh -oh. family yeah. dispute. Somebody's yeah. jealous yeah. or bitter. All right, uh, I'm still going with Jen's story. Yeah. Yep. Uh, everybody else? Greg? Yes. Yeah, it's got to be Jen. Mm -hmm. I mean, Jen. She's got Rob. All right. uh, Herman, thank you for the call. Appreciate listening Thanks, to Herman. the Woody Show. Uh, let's see. Let's go to uh, Kevin. Hey, good morning, Kevin. Kevin. Hey, how's it going? Hey, hey, last man standing house party gone wrong. All right. So I was like 14. My brother was 21. He had a huge party at my parents' house. They were on vacation in Hawaii, and there was probably 200 people in a 2,000-square-foot house. <laughs> And somebody brought bear spray and sprayed it throughout the whole house. Ooh. And there was a massive oh. puke fest going on. Oh. People are freaking out. Yeah. There was no fires, but it was absolutely insane. Who who brought yeah, the why bear would spray? Anybody do that? 
I don't know. I, I lived in the Pacific Northwest, so there's lots of hunters and all kinds of yeah. stuff up there. Mm-hmm. But like, why would you bring that to a Seattle party? And some just... Just some yeah. some college kid brought it to the party, thought it was a great idea, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> and just went through idea. just sprayed it and went through the whole house. And yeah. Everybody, everybody was just toast on both stories. Huh. It was it was unbelievable. All right. Uh what do you guys think? I Jen mean, or Kevin? I mean, that's a version of the fire extinguisher. Yeah. You know, setting that off into somewhere. But yeah, honestly, I get much, it. But, but I mean, I think Jen fire had, yeah, but Jen had spray. fire, yeah. sex, yeah, you know, yeah. thievery. Couch, broken couch. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Broken couch. Yep. Yeah. yeah. All right. That one. Uh, Kevin, I'm thank you. I'm going to go with her. All right. <laughs> thank you. All right. Thank you, Kevin. <laughs> oh, Kevin's so nice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's go to uh, Steve. Hey, good morning, Steve. Good morning, Woody Show. How you guys doing today? Hey, doing great. Good. All right, so house party gone wrong. What do you got? Yeah, major party fell here. I'll try to make this very quick. Uh, the summary is basically I was 13 years old, attending my buddy's 16th birthday party, hosted by his hot milf mother. Yeah. So anyway, long story short, I quickly uh, get very inebriated. I puke all over myself, so the mother felt bad. Brings me upstairs, takes my clothes off. Puts me in the bathtub unattended. The milk so I'm mom? laying there, and she's, yes. Nice. Yes. So while I'm unattended in the bathtub, she goes off and washes my clothes. Well, here the party discovers I'm laying there, <laughs> hung like a stud gerbil, bald as a cue ball, because, again, <laughs> I'm 13. Right. And <laughs> so then, so the whole party discovers this. There's two ways in, from the left and then exit to the right. So they all walk by, laughing at me, ridiculing me. <laughs> And basically, that Monday morning, I was known as Q Ball for the rest of the school year. Q Ball. All right, yeah. <laughs> well, dude, Milf Mom so gave you a bath. Ate. That's awesome. Uh, bathe me. Yeah, unfortunately, she left me unattended, and the party discovered it. So basically, about 35 people witnessed I was hung like a star jump. That gerbil. So it was yeah. Bad. And you were that's, wasted at 13. That's pretty badass. Yeah. That's like pretty great. awesome. Yeah, yeah. Great. I, I, I can were relate. you 12? I think I might have been 11. <laughs> Yeah. Well, cool. I was yeah, 10. But I looked yeah. like so. I was 10. That was that was yeah. sad. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, Steve, hang on one second. Uh, yeah, votes it's... around the room? I mean, Steve's Ooh, that's story is pretty cool. It's a great Get story. Naked. Uh, but Jen all day. Yeah. Still Jen? Yeah, I'm sticking with Jen. Mm-hmm. All right. Steve. Great story, though. Thank you for the call. Appreciate you listening to Woody's show, man. Thanks, guys. All right. Later. See you, Steve. Uh, let's see. Let's, uh, let's go to Aaron. Hey, good morning, Aaron. Well, good morning. What's up? Morning. What's up, All right. Uh, last man standing. House party gone wrong. Yeah. So I lived in Arizona, and uh, we were having a, a little party, and I decided to call some friends. And next thing you know, like 150 people showed up. Most of them I didn't know. And uh, we're all drinking bottles. And uh, at one point, I got- oh. oh, no. Damn. Oh, yeah, that that might have been that might have been my fault. Hang on. Aaron, you there? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry, okay. man. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Woo. Sorry. Woo. Okay. All right. So you're, you're drinking bottles. Yeah, so one one of my buddies got got in an argument with one of these dudes' girlfriends, and it turned out into like a fight from the back of like back patio of this house. Yeah, and I uh, I was standing out front at the time, and I, I heard like all this chaos. There was glass smashing everywhere and everything. And whenever I opened up the door, literally everybody in this house was throwing beer bottles at everybody. It was absolute chaos. And uh, I had uh, I had this this kid was coming down the hallway, and he put a gun at my chest, and I told him that. In my drug self, told him that he didn't have enough balls to pull the trigger. And uh, as he as he went by me, somebody smashed a beer bottle over his head. And uh, I see two, 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 three guys that threw my buddy through a wall. And like after all this aftermath was done and everybody left, uh, cleaning up all the glass. I had to take two of my buddies to the hospital. <laughs> so we get back. Oh, we're, nice. we're, we're, we're fixing the wall in this house and stuff. We're looking at all the damage and stuff. We all passed out. We were pretty drunk. Now, we woke who, up the next day, and what we didn't realize is they stole our garage door opener, and they robbed our complete garage. They gutted our garage. All of our, oh our motocross bikes and our motorcycles were gone. Oh, Wait, damn. Uh, who who yeah. was the guy with the gun? Like, nobody knew this guy? Uh, nobody knew. Now, this is Arizona. I didn't know these. It's I, Arizona, I knew one yeah. Kid yeah. And I, I, mean, I invited, like, this one yeah. kid, and, like, so many other kids showed yeah. up. Okay, all right. Well, there's uh, Aaron. Yeah. That uh, super sucks. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's what happens. That's when pretty show good. Up. Yeah, yeah, you get uh, robbed. I don't know. I might be swayed toward Aaron. I know. What, uh, votes? Motorcycle stolen. Mm, bar fight, essentially. He's got ran- yeah. Yeah, broken glass. Yeah. Hole yeah. in the wall. Yeah. No, I'm Gun. still going Jen though, because she has so many different factors to her story. And there's nothing cool about that. Like it's just dangerous. It's just like, oh, some bikers showed up and wrecked the place. And, yeah, and destroyed. And the it's night. called not being a puss. You know. Yeah. So you're going Jen. Seabass Jen. Yeah. The variety of Jen is. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm sticking Unstoppable. with Ted. Unstoppable. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this is actually Aaron, just scary. Aaron, yeah. you got my vote, but uh, we are we are outnumbered, my friend. But thank you for the call. Yep. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. Have a good one. All right, later. Stay safe. All right, let's go to uh, Kyle. Hey, good morning, Kyle. 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 Hey, guys. Uh, it's going to be hard to top Aaron's, to be honest. <laughs> well, Aaron's already out. Yeah. Right? Jen is still on top right now. But uh, what right, happened right, with well, you? House is... party gone wrong. Yeah, so this was right after that movie Project X came out. No, I don't yeah. know if you guys remember that? That was but... a feel good movie, yeah. yeah. That movie. The curb ruled. stomping. Yeah, no, yep. This is the wrong. That's movie. American History X. Oh, yeah. American History X, <laughs> yes. my bad. Yeah, Project Woody, X. Just FYI, Woody doesn't have any references <laughs> in the past 20 years. <laughs> no, my bad. No. So all Project this X. Day, this was a, it was a high school party. Uh, one of my buddies just blew it up. Nice. Ended up inviting, I want to say, 100 people. More than three times the amount of people showed up just by word of mouth. Uh, there was the jungle juice bit, so white mm-hmm. carpet, Ooh. red juice, Ooh. red everything. Um, these gang members ended up showing up, tagging the inside of the house. Oh. Somebody got so drunk they drove the car into the pool. <laughs> um, all this That's day, badass. it was a terrible situation. Yeah. Everyone was sick. And then come, you know, 2 a.m., the idiot doesn't realize, or he, he doesn't realize he didn't tell us, oh, the house just went into escrow and the new homeowners are coming by tomorrow morning to check <laughs> it out. <laughs> Not good. Oh, so, uh, needless to say, our, our buddy was screwed pretty bad. <laughs> so it was his parents' place, right? Uh, it was his parents' former place. Yeah, all so right. He was scrambling to get everybody to help clean it up and everything. And, and uh, get the car out of the pool. And the car yeah. really ended up in the pool? <laughs> yep, exactly. Yeah. All right. Yep. Kyle, hang on one second. What do you guys think? Votes? Man, I love the car in the pool. Oh, yeah. That it's is pretty good. And the, and the interior got tagged, tagged. Yeah. and then it was going <laughs> into escrow the next day. I'm going with that one. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty good. Kyle? That is crazy. How do you not stop crazy. somebody from tagging your house? I, I or somebody hey, says, like, don't hey, do stop, that. No, don't do that. Yeah, no. what are you right. doing that you're so busy? Yeah. Or somebody, anybody. If like, I saw anybody. Like anybody, even if yeah. it's not yeah. your house. Well, maybe because they're gang members, they were afraid to stop them. Yeah. All right, Kyle, hang on one second, man. Jen, it's hang on good. one second. This might This yeah. might end up going to listener vote. Pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, let's get to one more call. Uh, let's go to Colton. Good morning, Colton. Colton. Good morning. How's it going? We're doing Good. great. Last man standing. House party gone wrong. What's your story? Yeah, absolutely. So my family and I were actually out of town. So I wasn't at this house party, uh, but it was at my house. So my older brother, he was in high school, and he had his friend to come over to house it for us. And while we were all out of town, he had decided to invite, I guess, a few people over. Yeah. Um, that that few people turned over to be like a hundred people, and threw a giant house party. There was trash everywhere in the house. Um, there were used condoms in all the kids' bedrooms. <laughs> so, pretty messy situation to walk home to. Yeah. Used condoms on your fire truck bed. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right. Uh, well, Colton, that's a that's a good story. I don't think it's yeah, no. I don't think it's in there with Kyle and Jen though. You guys no agree way. or disagree? I, I agree. Yeah, I but Colton, we appreciate I mean, the call, story. man. Thank you. That sucks. Absolutely. Have a good one. All right. It's like, you know, bye. (laughs) All right. So now the voting is open. Which one do you think should win this round of last man standing? Kyle. That's the guy where somebody ended up driving, uh, you know, getting a car into the pool. And then Jen, the the living room or, you know, dining room or whatever caught fire. People were stealing stuff. The people were like uh, banging in the basement when she ran down there to go get the fire extinguisher. Couch got broke. So you're going to text either Kyle, car in the pool, Kyle, K-Y-L-E, over to 22987, or Jen, J-E-N, for the living room fire story. Which one do you think should win this round of Last Man Standing? Ooh, tough. We will uh, have the results for you. The listener uh, vote will count toward, well, the listener vote will determine who wins. See, we're putting it all in your hands, guys. We got it this far. Mm -hmm. Yes. You guys uh, take it home. It's the Woody Show. And you guys did a great job setting your votes in. For last man standing house party's gone wrong. That uh, you know, we'd like you to win a 98 inch TCL television. Yeah. We so would. you know, go ahead and pat yourself on the back and reward yourself. Win this 98 inch TCL TV. Thanks to TCL's more for you sale. All this week at TCL.com, up to 55050 percent off their TVs. You can also find these deals at major retailers that uh, sell the TCL TVs. But 98-inch, very big. <laughs> Huge. And the post, Humongous. everything you need to know, directions, 
on how to sign up. Right there, it's pinned to the top of our Instagram, at The Woody Show on Instagram. So go ahead and, uh, and do that. All right, so it was uh, between Kyle and Jen. Kyle's story was uh, that uh, it was just chaos at the house party. People were tagging the inside of the house with graffiti. Somebody got so drunk that they, uh, a car ended up in the pool. And then we talked to Jen, whose dining room caught fire. It was like a Halloween party. So right, that the, the candle mishap. Yeah, the candle burned all the way down to the end. It was a cheap uh, Halloween candle holder. So that thing, apparently flammable. Good idea for a candle holder. <laughs> yeah. Uh, to make it out of something flammable. And uh, ended up catching the wall on fire and destroyed some stuff. And people were stealing from her. People were stealing, banging in the uh, in the basement, when she went to, which she discovered when she went down there to go get the uh, fire extinguisher. Hell yeah. So... Her eyes were burning. Her dining room was burning. Literally. Yeah. yeah. Now, we do have a clear winner. And before we go to uh, the actual vote here, Seabass, who gets your vote? Yeah, I'll go with uh, our lady, Jen. She's, Jen? She's got the more interesting, I think, more the, the specifics are more perhaps real. Yeah. So okay. I, I'm enjoying her story. <laughs> All right. Uh, Sammy? I'm going with Kyle. Kyle. Yep. All right. Uh, Menace. I'm going with Jen all day because the day. different categories of drama within okay. her story. Yes. All right. And I, too, I'm going with Jen. I like the variety of problems. Less hooligan-ish. Yeah, you know? exactly. Like and people I, tagging walls and whatever. Okay, like, well, who's at your party? This was just like a candle. Like People banging, that happens at, uh, mm -hmm. at mean, house parties. If it's a good party, it is. Yeah, but yeah. No <laughs> gang warfare, no tagging. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with Jen as well. Now, here's the thing. Uh, Jen got a vast majority of the votes. So our winner of this round... Congratulations to you, Jen. You are, yeah. you are the winner. Thank you, thank you. How's the party gone wrong? So hang on one second. We'll get all your info, and uh, we appreciate you listening to The Woody Show. Hang on, okay? Thank you. All right, you're welcome. And, uh, and Kyle, that's a, that's a great story. Thank you for calling in. Appreciate uh, your support of The Woody Show, my friend. Yeah, thank you, guys. All right, Jen, thanks, run it Kyle. back. All right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Kyle, thank you. There's, uh, there's Kyle and Jen, everybody. Thanks again for your votes. Quick break, more Woody Show coming up. Hang on. I kind of want to know more.